How's it going guys? Welcome back to Undermine. I was looking to do a little bit of gaming before I call it a day. I have enough time here that I think I might as well sit down and play some more Undermine. I'm just wrapped up in this game pretty deeply right now and I, I just want to keep playing more. I should probably just be like going to bed or whatever, but nah. I have time. Sleep is unnecessary. I'll get enough. Four hours of sleep is enough. I'm just kidding. I'm not that crazy. I'm no Alley B Mac. I know when to when to call it a night and when when I should probably discontinue playing games. I've played games with her on the channel a few times and she's just a bad woman who plays like does like ten hour long streams. I see that there's an access point there. I can't go through it yet, don't have a bomb. There has been a, a very brief very short uh, update to the game since last I picked it up, like, so within the last day or whatever. It, it was a very tiny uh, improvement. There was, there's like, a few different bug fixes, but there was one particular thing that stood out to me, and it's that rocks and the wall, wall gold sources now dish out more gold during the early game, so I think prior, like, not counting the rock mimic, god, because I think he's kind of like a warm-up boss, he's not a true first boss, the, the big sandworm is the true proper first boss of this game, I, oh, look, I, we got a dangerous fiery blade spinning around here, so prior, to actually defeating that first boss, the output of of gold from those sorts of sources is, is now greater. What I'm trying to say, so it, it should be easier to to level up your character, uh, earn, be, afford more like upgrades and things when you make it to the later points in the game, and so I I think that's a nice simple addition. Uh, like, you can see here right away, there's like those big 25 gold pieces, which I don't think it used to give out at all. And I think even just individually, there are more pieces that get handed out. Okay, I thought that was on fire permanently. I found another secret entrance, so I guess I'm checking out two different access points. Ah, oh, another curse. My, my favorite thing is to just take up the curses. Nice, I was hoping there'd be one bomb. I don't think the amount of gold that chests dish out, dish out necessarily has changed. I'm just trying to open, not jump. And it was just keys and bombs, and for that, deal less swing damage, major weakness. Ha! Huh, didn't even get a blessing out of that one. That might be the first time I've been totally shafted in that way, that I managed to not acquire a blessing from something like that. That sucks. Unstable concoction, gold hits the floor with explosive force. A substance that combines with gold and force to create devastating effects. I thought I was reading it wrong. The cadence at which I read it was weird and in incorrect and confusing, but no, the, the sentence made sense. So you can see, I already have 300 gold, and I'm just making my way through the first floor of, of a relatively deep dungeon. Something like this, one of these rooms that's built to just provide a lot of gold, is gonna have so much. It, this is such a silly upgrade to receive. Oh, damn you. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh no, that's just gonna take me... Yeah, this is just another access point to the secret room. That's totally confusing though, because it makes it seem like you would get to go somewhere else. Nice. That's really useful. I was thinking, what a dumbass thing. The gold is so rarely going to actually land where enemies are and do damage. I usually don't collect the gold until the very end of the level. Get back here. <laughs> it's something I usually hold off on doing. But now it kind of, it has the chance of opening up secret areas, destroying things that could provide other, other drops for you and things like that. So it ends up being quite helpful. And now I have the most insane amount of gold, considering I haven't even gone down a level in the dungeon yet. That's, like, ridiculous. I, the, the amount that they changed that by is very dramatic, so people who are picking up the game for the first time, being newly introduced to this, uh, total noobs, which I still more or less am, I still haven't beat, like, the first damn boss of the game, uh, it, it should help you advance a lot more quickly, which I'm very happy about, because it, 
It seems like the early game was requiring a lot of grinding in order to actually do any meaningful progression. Oh, he thought he was going to get away with it too. Managed to just barely stop him, creating more bombs. I'm all happy with that. Oh, don't you dare. Yeah, nearly a thousand gold, only just now going down. I really wish I had the thread and needle that, that provided the, uh, the lose no gold modifier because I'd be set. Even, even if I lose half of this, 500 can still buy a lot in this game. So I think this was a smart improvement. Some people might feel like the, the game is made shorter in that way. But like, honestly, I've played for hours and hours at this point, and I mean I reset at one point, so I didn't have all the progression that I, I would have normally had. But if I include the reset, I've played the game for like five or six hours, I've fought against that final boss, I have no idea, like four times or something like that, haven't beat it, more progression would, would be greatly appreciated, so I, I, I think it's a wise choice. And now I think I've said everything I could possibly say about it because I keep getting distracted and keep feeling like I didn't finish my point. <laughs> and so I just keep talking. Uh, yeah, there's nothing more to be said about it. It's a good addition. <laughs> Moving on. I am really happy with the amount of, of bombs and keys I'm sitting on at this point. That's going real well right now. These things have a lot of- oh no, that's my decreased damage. I was like, wow, these things have a ridiculous amount of armor. Nope, that curse just makes a crazy difference. I hate this. I if, I- if I stick to my throw damage, I actually do more. So I'll try to make as much use of that as I can. The, the difference between them isn't that much, but it's, it's slightly better with the swing. I really, really got to try and achieve a curse removal if I can. You, you selling, you selling a curse removal today? Ooh, big discount. Increase defense at critical health. Well, I'm trying to keep the health high, so I, I, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to blow up this little part of your shop, though, just for fun. That was so rare. I feel like in the demo, those used to like always have stuff behind them. Now it's so rare. You know what? I am like definitely going to get enough money for the loyalty thing on this run. It's seeming like it at least as long as nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong in the next like one room. And I think I might as well do it. I'm going to want to do it eventually. I might as well do it immediately and just kind of have that locked in. <laughs> I like watching those all get blasted away. Thank you, Gold. Thank you for getting rid of all these damn spinning death machines. I hope I don't have to buy up the shop first before I'm allowed to. I should be able to just go behind and immediately talk to this guy. Loyalty program for 1200 Yes. Excellent. I will send my assistant to set things up in your lobby. Thank you for being a loyal patron of our shop. We look forward to future transactions. Ah, uh, that's... Whoa! That was him! That was the guy! <laughs> cool! Okay, so that is how I, I'm going- I was wondering if I broke the sale side, if it would no longer be on sale. It'd be a funny little interaction. Uh, that- that's gonna be the guy who runs the little merchant stand up- upstairs. I was curious when I was gonna make that a thing. Miner's Flask. Feel the effects of a potion for longer. A sneaky little vessel with something left over for the new owner. That's a real fancy looking flask. I like it. Oh, something left over. That's really cool. Temporarily increased swing damage. Oh, the more I think about it, the, s the more I like have to get rid of that before I try to show down with Celt. Because that's just... I, I can't... Do dealing significant amounts of damage is going to be so important to that battle. And it's just not a thing I can do. Like, it's so hard to land hits on that as is. I have to try and bring to a minimum, oh god, dangerous, the the amount of, of individual attacks I have to try and make against that guy, because he's so insanely strong, he has so much health, so I gotta, I gotta overcome that. A bunch of thorium, that's really, that's, that's solid. 
I'm going to be a little bit more choosy about where I'm spending my bombs and keys for the next little bit. I have a lot of them still, but I, I, I want to make sure I'm saving them for, for secret entrances, things like that. Um, like, I, I could try and see if there's something behind there. I, I'd, I'd rather save it. Damn, we're getting so close to self again now, and I have so little... So little to show for it. Did you read them first? There there was that achievement. There was an achievement for breaking 20 signs. <laughs> I thought I would have broken that many so long ago. It felt like I was just going nuts smashing signs to little bits. I, I should hear one thing. I really want to look at the patch notes again just to be certain I explained it well. Because the more I'm thinking about it, it could make sense. It could be a strategy to not fight the final boss right away and try and just grind out gold. Increase the gold from rocks and walls that appear after killing RPM, so the rock pile mimic or whatever he was called, but before killing Celt. So there's actually like a motivation to not kill that guy right away. I mean, I'm not saying I think I could reasonably do it uh, easily or right away or anything, but there, there's a motivation, thanks for passing that back over to me, to not try to do it immediately, because then you could much more easily mine for gold and, and like, uh, what would grind for gold or, or like cheese it a little bit like people do in the Countess runs in Diablo or whatever. Oh, shit. I, that's the first time I've been poisoned, I think. I didn't realize the spiders had poison. Well, now I don't want you guys anywhere near me. I already thought you were annoying and gross and a little too jumpy before, but now now I really hate you. Access the side here. Mirror. Grimhild's mirror. Return projectiles with an attack. Discussions with the mirror are unwise. Arknos the Archmage. Is that because he thinks that the mirror is going to tell me... That I'm better than him and I don't need him, something like that. Being able to to block, like swing away, batter up projectiles is a cool ability. But like, it's going to be difficult to actually use consistently to like make good use of. I feel like you have to have a lot of confidence to reliably pull something like that off. So I, not something I want to attempt immediately. Oh, you get out of here. Um... Right on the edge. I feel like the, the forgiveness on on those is really low. I'm going to make him run through it because I don't really feel like fighting him. But goddamn, it's really tough on you. Like, your your toe just kind of grazes the edge there. I feel like the, the forgiveness or hitbox of that, of sucking you in down into the edge, could be better. Like, there, there could almost be... Uh, a little animation that plays when you're right riding the edge, where he does kind of like a whoa before actually falling in. Just, just as like a quick little putting you on notice that like, hey man, might want to watch what you're doing. You're getting really close to the edge. Because the amount of times I've felt like I'm, I'm just riding the edge and then falling in is kind of annoying. If, like, if, if it was just... A pixel or two different. I think every time I fell in after that. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. It's so hot in this room. Um, then, then it would feel more fair. Like just, just enough. That would make just enough of a difference that I would be okay with it and I would be willing to accept it. But as is, there's like 20% of the time. But I'm like, oh, come on. I shouldn't have fallen in there. And the fact that there are times where it feels like bullshit like that, like you got cheated, is probably not a great thing. I wonder if these things count as spikes when you have the, the spike immunity shoes. I feel like they are like blades or something different and that's not quite what it is referring to. It specifically means the floor traps. Well there, that just kind of sucked because I, I landed, Jesus Christ, because I landed on top of the rock so it, it kind of pushed me off a little bit and that's just kind of a, a poor landing. I can't really be mad at that one. It kind of, it still sucks, but I kind of got pushed into it, so it was just kind of, just bad. And that's not the game's fault. That just, it just kind of sucks, you know? Ah, oh, it's not worth taking on another curse, I think. For, for the first time, also, it's not worth taking that damage. But for, like, the first time, I guess I'm going to pass that up.
I don't think I came across any secret rooms on this floor, so no little bonuses to be discovered. And now with low health, I'm going down to the level that should have the access point for that boss. Level 4. Yeah. What are the odds I find a curse removal in that time, as well as, like, a bunch of healing items? Oh god, okay, pressure plates, rats building up. Oh, I love when they just start coming at you with, like, a wall like that, because they just, they're just awful. They're just so easy to smash to bits. So satisfying. It feels like uh, the hack and slashing of a game like Diablo or something, where you're just so insanely powerful relative to everything else. You insane maniacs! Don't cause explosions like that! That sucks for me! <laughs> I don't know what the hell was exploding all over the place, but I'm, I'm very upset with how you immediately activated the Bobo, and now I have to, now I have to worry about it. This was supposed to be a non-issue. I was supposed to be able to wait until the very end. Now you guys have gone and made it extra difficult. Whew. Alrighty then. That... That was, uh... I, it worked out pretty well. He kind of opened up the map a lot by breaking all this stuff, which I didn't remember that he was going to do. So, huh, it's good. It helps, helps a lot. Well, that'll balance out my minus a little bit. But yeah, the, the fact that that guy opened up the room made that way easier to deal with. Please be selling the curse removal thing. That would really help me out right now. Drop some basic items. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm curious to see what the loyalty program's all about, because I thought it would just be something like... Shit down here just costs less than it did before, you know? And that's clearly not what's going on. I guess I'll be able to probably, like, buy things like potions prior to even going down into the dungeon at all. I, it'll probably just be a way to spend gold. Wow, I feel like the poison really stacked there or something. So it was, lasted a long time. It made me slow. And it was dealing, like, a bunch of damage. Oh, I think just when you initially get it, it does, uh, like, an initial amount of damage. And then each, like, subsequent one is, is only one. I thought it was much less common that these guys would activate poison. That was happening scarily frequently. And, damn, now I'm in super rough shape. That sucks. Oh, and the odds of me finding a uh, curse removal have now decreased to approximately zero. It's probably something I cannot bank on. Fuck. I was trying so hard to avoid that. That was a shitty landing jump. That just fucking sucked. I just, there, I don't know, there was like a window of not being able to jump when I first landed back into the, into the map there. I tried to, and it didn't happen. I don't know how much of that's my fault of the games, but I was probably just flustered and playing like shit. Well... I don't know. I don't know what I try and do. Do a quick scan for secret rooms or whatever and just assume that I'm not fighting the boss on this run. Try and make off with as much gold as I can before that happens. Oh, there's a few more rooms, but nothing I can do here. Just straight up ignore that room. Oh, hey, what do you know? What, what is what is this? A toxin? Coat your weapon with poison. Thick black oil consisting of venom from the kingdom's deadliest creatures. This poison acts quickly, reducing movement and inflicting pain. I wasn't sure if it was a potion or a permanent upgrade. I mean, it clearly looked like a potion, but I had hopes that it would be a little bit more. Oh, that didn't... I thought I managed to wing him there. Alright, well, I'm going to blow up one more statue just to see if there's anything worth having there. Hmm, nuts. Well, might as well use this just to see what happens. <laughs> Can I kill myself with this? I'm gonna chug this potion just to... Well, there's nothing to attack. Three minutes is a long, a long time. I wish that I could have had that going down. I could have chugged both of those and went and fought him if I had any amount of health that mattered. I thought it would be funny just to see what happened if you killed yourself using that device 
what do you know? You just die. You just regular die. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I don't have to re-buy the merchant. I thought it would be here. Oh, you're over here. Okay, what's all this stuff then? Special item voucher. Expand the shop's special item supply. The words very good are written in large bold letters and the R is backwards. So this would be like a permanent upgrade. Uh, yeah, there's like these different, the different three different things right here. And then there, there's probably like certificates and like, I, I don't know what all that other stuff is. But those are probably other things I would be able to buy after. A food voucher, expand the shop's food supply. And basic item voucher, expand the shop's item supply. So all of that is pretty useful. I, I still don't want to buy that. Don't care about bomb upgrades. I really, really should focus on damage. Oh, great. I can't afford damage. As is, I can only uh, afford, like, one thing. Oh, and a bomb upgrade? Shit, not even. Wow, I'm right exactly on the cusp that I can't... I can't buy two items. I so narrowly am shy of that. Damn it. I really wish I could upgrade damage right now. Uh, I guess, do you know what? I'm, I want better, better gold coming back with me. <laughs> Potato sack. Gold sack upgrade. Just a sack used for hauling potatoes. Except for now I'm gonna stuck, stick some gold in there. And while I'm at it, I'm taking the crippling poison and I'm gonna make it to sell it. I'm gonna make it there and I'm gonna poison this bastard. Ah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that specific item is going to be like a huge boon to me benefit I hope I'm using the word boon right I don't want to sound like an idiot but this this is going to be the difference maker for me hopefully banking on that a little bit that's uh relatively difficult to get to isn't it ah uh, but I see I can just drop a bomb here and then yo yeah that's not so bad after all and it's uh, quite, quite a lot of gold and, uh, and a stake back to full health. Ah, uh, now I'm seeing as well that there is a secret, secret room. But there was a chest that the, a chance that the chest, or a chest that the chance, would have, have a bomb in it. So I think that was a worthwhile attempt. Ugh, this room is just kind of, a, like it's a little bit of a challenge, mostly an annoyance. Breaker is my name. I, I I often forget to look at what the peasant's name is, and that sucks because I'm I'm gonna have to redo that next time I find a bomb to go access the secret room. Uh, I immediately, I, as stupid as the exploding. Hey, nice! I poisoned something. As stupid as the poison. No, the exploding gold item seems. I miss it so much. Because, like, there isn't a chance it, like, it would blow up these rocks. It would blow up these walls. It, that, that was, like, the reason why I was finding so many things all over the place. I might as well check this out first in case it's, like, spike immunity or something. The bramble vest. Uh, I don't like items that reward me for getting hit. Because I, I don't want to get hit. Just quickly trying to clear out these extra rooms and stuff. What was that? What is going on? What are these little landmines or whatever the hell? Two of them exploded, and in neither instance did I figure out what the hell actually went on. Nice. I like the boomerang return hit. Well, this one's easier to get to, so I guess this is the one I'm I'm bombing access to, and I can just kind of hope that it turns up an additional bomb for me. Oh, nuts. Oh, it's like an altar. It's one of those things that you could... I think you automatically get a curse, and then whatever bless- Oh, you have to buy the blessings, though, I think. Ah, but without a bomb, it's useless to me, so... Now I'm- now I'm just- I'm descending, I guess. Ho oh, um, <laughs> Bring it on, game. Although, don't actually, you know, mostly go easy on me, because I- I'd love to- I'd love to make progress, so... You know, ignore- ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you know what? That most recent curse really made me hate being cursed. I might think twice about that, like taking those chests next time it comes up. Sustain yourself through adventure. A totem depicting an ancient god of life 
and the natural order. I don't know at all what that is. Maybe every time I descend, I'm, I'm gonna gain a little bit of health. That would be really useful. I was like looking at my little mini map here deciding which way to go and I just wandered into a hole. That was about as stupid as it comes. Is every new room gonna heal me? That's so much more useful than I had anticipated it being. No, 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 he ran exactly where I thought he wouldn't go. Ugh, damn him. I think that was only a, a ten, a tenner at most. It might have even only been a fiver, but I don't like giving up any. No, secret rooms. Careful of the pits, the big dangerous pits. Each new room is six health. That's, uh, that's pretty great, actually. Wow, that guy's, that bug super bugging out hard there managed to get himself stuck on that wall very beneficial to me what a chump what a joke what a what a maroon I, I I'm just trying to do like quick scans to see if rooms have anything worth uh, exploring or investigating further or anything good work canary I'm I'm all about that thank you thank you for for covering covering all that yeah 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 <laughs> it's lucky you can fly over. All the, the little thieves were trying to get their grubby little hands on it, and they couldn't actually properly get at it. Well... No... Although, this might be the only reason that those other ones were lasting, like, three minutes or whatever. Like, their crazy extended, long-lasting effects there. I, I think I'd rather hang on to the money, because I need to... I need to worry a bit more about like long-term upgrading for for a while at least. It's gonna be quite some time, I think, before I can be confident enough. Okay, I can't see what it is on the ground that ends up being those little bombs. I'm I'll have to review the footage later because like it happens so quickly. I'm gonna use this to blow that up. Damn it! Why does it always seem to actually land on me? I don't have any water, so I can't Oh no, there is water in this room. Well, that stupid could have saved myself like 15, 20 damage there. I can't see what those little rocks look like in the room until they're already blowing up. I'm gonna break the skull. Hey, five gold. <laughs> Put me over a thousand. I just figured that skull might have something. Key, bomb, nothing. Hard to say, thought I would try. I like, I like blowing those guys up. Free bombs always have the chance to yield something. Huh. I don't remember there being any secret areas on this floor, so I think I just take that the key and the bomb forward with me and and keep it keep my eyes peeled on this floor. I don't know if odds of finding better secrets is a thing, like the deeper down you get. Oh, it locked me in. I was gonna go back for the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, you're the worst. I hate this room. This room sucks. Come on, spinning blade thing, do your job. I'm trying to avoid these spiders. I'm trying to avoid the fucking blades. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, for blasting through those for me. Holy shit, I didn't even see where the other one was. Oh, God. Oh, okay, one down. Just gonna hold still. Ah, he popped up right underneath me. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh, thank you for killing the rotating blades and everything, but not before getting my ass pretty, pretty kicked around. The bottle in the shop. Discover secret shop. Hmm. Is there a secret shop always, or this would kind of create one? We'll see what happens. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, so I finally get to see what's down one of these. I think I found one in the alpha, but it was a while ago and I don't really remember. Now I know what it is, though. Double your bombs. Well, I only have one bomb, so that doesn't feel particularly worth it. I'll heal up a little bit. That boss battle's, uh, like a floor away. There was nothing that great down there for me, really. Oh, goody, goody, the the explosion guys are all over this room, the, the, the bug things that I hate. What a good room. I love this room. It's funny, you can use a bomb to blow this up and get a bomb. 
pretty pretty useless overall. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, or I can just lead this guy around and do it for me. Is he? He's destroying the items or something. Oh, maybe I did pick them up. That's strange. I completely misinterpreted what was happening there somehow. I don't know how I managed to get it so wrong. That was, it was peculiar. It seemed like he was destroying, destroying my shit. The random chest drop, an additional bomb. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what you got for me. Ooh. One of the thorium chests. Plus, potentially my first alchemy blueprint. Recipe discovered, potion of true sight. Cool. Now we can finally see whether or not that also costs thorium the way that blacksmith recipes do. My assumption is that yes, that will be the case, but I kind of, I was hoping for the confirmation, which I can finally, finally get properly. I assume my ranged attacks can also cause poison. Wow. Dickhead belly bumped me down into the pit there. That sucked. hate when shit like that happens. And I, I can't be mad at the game. These mechanics are consistent. Just fucking sucks, you know? What's this all about? Seer's blood. Bombs explode in a shower of fire. Blood of the salamander. Kept only in check by the blood of her brother. Well, not a big fan of that. You can see it up in the corner there. It doesn't, doesn't show down here. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a good way for me to probably end up killing myself. Ah, uh, nice. I did deal poison with, with the ranged attacks. I don't know for certain that it will be a real possibility that I can kill myself or anything with it. Shit. I don't think I can step close enough without actually doing the damage to myself. <sighs> I don't have enough health. I don't have enough of, like, a safety net to, to mess around with anything like that right now. Fuck all these spiders and, and, and spitting enemies and everything. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. This room is such bullshit. Okay, S slowly but surely. Oh, you bitch. How dare you survive? I expect you to be one-shotted like everything else or like majority of things in the room. <sighs> That's annoying. I hate it. I I see. I have the key. I have a key to go wander back there. Oh, I just remembered. I might not have mined a wall that I had meant to. That might have been an entirely different floor. No, yeah, this one. This is the one I had in mind. Remember to come back for that. Nice. I'm definitely going to Black Rabbit's Bazaar or Random Gambling Game. Either way, either way, I'm probably going to end up spending money. A bomb. A bomb for a big shank of meat. That's not bad. An extra secret shop is kind of dumb. That's not going to do anything for me. Health is health is what I'm needing right now. I, I want to read this. There's usually something fun. Make the money. Don't let the money make you. Oh, I had to stifle like a weird hiccup there. All right. I would like a net positive gaining of health on this floor. It's a good start. Just by entering the floor, I'm I'm up one. Fuck! <laughs> I don't know why, but for half a second in my brain, I was like, the game will stop me from plummeting straight off the edge without any warning. It's been such a recurrent issue, and yet I appear to have learned absolutely nothing. Oh god, I don't like where those lurkers are at. Uh, uh, I don't know if I should try and explode the barrel. I think I'm gonna try. Try and avoid it myself. Hope that it kills this thing for me. Fucking god damn you. Fuck! It's way too much damage. It's so stressful. Just die. Just die. Oh. Well. Net positive health, the dreams of that are disappearing. 
I'm a little stressed over it. You guys. Alright, you know what, dude? You just start rampaging around the room. Canary, you try and collect the gold. I'm gonna try to kill these things. Oh, good, good, good. Goodness gracious. Okay, now I can just focus on doing my job. You, you poor, poor, angry little fiend. I'm sorry that your life is such pain. Oh, do you guys want to be like any help today? I know we haven't really got along in the past. But man, would it ever go really, like just such a long way. If you could help out at all. Want to hop down there with me? Take part in the fight? Anything like that? Not feeling it? Just gonna be lazy, stand in front of that door, waiting to attack people who accidentally attack you. What a bunch of snobs. <laughs> Doing your job like a snob. Ah, uh, I thought the spikes were gonna kill the this gloop for sure. It was close. It was a close call. Make sure I grab this last little bit of gold. Because I'm probably about to lose half of everything, so every little bit I'm able to bring with me counts. Alright, gotta kill as many of these spiders as I can before I'm before I operate entirely in panic mode trying to dodge this guy. I should try and kill these two so they don't create a bunch of spots in the map that I can't actually jump through. I want him to destroy these spikes if he can. He'll probably destroy the chest too. Do you know what? Detroy destroying the, the chest was a good thing for me. Because that means I get I, I get some nice freebies. He uncovered the stake for me. He's starting fires all over the place and he's kind of just spreading the fire around worse and worse. Wow. That those creatures are just so self-destructive, you know? I'm gonna pass up the shop. I'm gonna go try and get something. Ah, I like this. I like the gold item. I don't like it or care about it this late in the the game. I probably would have benefited from the shop more, going and and getting some items to like heal with. So, based on that current situation, it felt like the wrong choice. But there was a chance it could have been like a damage increase or really anything helpful. Instead, it, it decided to pull from the non-helpful pool of items that seems to be relatively prominent. Shit. Alright, I'm combing through to try and find like a secret room or something because I, I could really use anything right now. Hmm. I don't think I can make it to that. I just want, I, I want, I want to try and find a key somewhere somehow. Well, I can see how effective these crazy bombs are and try to try to grab something from that wall. No luck there. The bomb might help against the boss. Did they remove those having things in them? Because I never even get like a five piece gold out of it or anything. It's so consistently has nothing. That makes me feel like maybe they changed it. Get out of here, you stupid busted signs. I'm gonna break all these skeletons. Everything. Everything I can break. And a single key. That really sucks. I really, really could have done with a key. Ah, oh, yeah, that extra six health that I get to recover there. That's swell as can be. Just start attacking, dude. Just start attacking. Try... Try and poison this thing as as quickly as possible. I wish I had that chain lightning. That chain lightning I had that one time was super great. This thing has such an impossibly large pool of health. It makes me really have no idea what to do. Oh, he's so hard to catch up with. Fuck off. He's so f much faster than I feel like he should be or anything like that. God damn it, I just have to kind of let that happen. Fuck, he just immediately turns into me. What the fuck am I supposed to do? If he barreled through there and I have to time it and I jump off to the side, I, I get that, I understand that. But instead he just fucking turns right into you so it doesn't even matter if you jump out of the way. I'm sorry, 
but I kind of call bullshit on that. Like, look how far away I am from killing this stupid thing. Alright, attempt to dodge. Oh good, he turned fucking into me again. What do I do? Do I, do I dodge in the direction that he is charging at me? Because that seems like that's not never going to work out well. That's so frustrating. I, he has such a fucked up amount of health. And I, it doesn't make any sense how to... Ugh. At least I made off of a thousand gold, because I invested in the potato sack. A thousand gold is quite a bit better. I can, I can probably upgrade health and damage with that, at least. The stone axe increases swing damage. Attacking someone with a stone hammer is a crime of war in some kingdoms. I couldn't have read that more angrily. And the burlap sack tunic upgrade appears to be a food sack with three holes cut out of it. Durable, but very itchy. Hmm. Oh, I guess it would already... If the sack would already have one hole. I was going to say it's, it has four holes cut out of it, doesn't it? Uh, I, unless that's one big hole and then that it gets stitched back together. I don't know, man. I'm reading way into it. Okay, I don't want to go like a million episodes without killing this stupid thing. I really... I really want to buckle down. I want the next episode to be the one where I kill it. And I, I hate it. And I need that to happen. I need it. Thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> I guess I'm playing more of this now rather than sleeping. I have to.